Hey happy campers, my name is Mr. Jim and this week's theme is Full Steam Ahead. Today we will be going to the moon and we'll be making fizzy moon paintings. Uh yeah Jim, mission control here, you probably should close that hatch before launch. Affirmative, I knew that. Today I can't wait to tell you about the Luna Moth. Luna is Latin for moon. It gets this name from the spots on its wings, which resemble moons, as well as the fact that it flies mostly at night, which means it's nocturnal. Like me, Batman. These moon spots also are called eye spots, which look like eyes from a predator. So this will help this animal survive a bit longer and not get eaten. What's so cool about the Luna Moth is they're very hard to see as they only live about seven to 10 days as a moth and rarely fly during the day, so you'll only get to see them at night. It reminds me of me, Batman. So if you're ever in North America in late May, early June, and see the Luna Moth, you are quite lucky. Now if only I was lucky enough to see the world's cutest bug, the Rosy Maple Moth. Hey, did somebody say Rosy Maple Moth? You know I'm cute. Now let's remember our three rules for the project. Try your best, remember, there's no perfect in making art. Be safe. Let's respect the materials and make sure that we're using them correctly. And be kind. Let's make sure our table's covered and ask for help when you need it. Now it's time to get our supplies. We'll need a piece of construction paper. I chose black because it looks like outer space. We'll need a marker, really just to draw the moon. You'll need baking soda and vinegar. Be sure to ask permission and maybe a little bit of help. And of course you'll need paint for color. Beautiful, beautiful color. Paint brushes. Cups and spoons for mixing the formula. Finally, something round. So I'm just using a roll of tape. This will get me my moon shape. I'm going to place the roll of tape somewhere near the center of the paper and trace it. I have a special marker that will show up on black paper so that you can see it on the camera, but really any marker will do. After you get permission to use baking soda, you're gonna take just about one spoonful and put it into one of your little cups or bowls. This is about a perfect amount. Once the baking soda is in the bowl, I'm going to add a little bit of paint. Now when I say little, I mean little. It is just about one or two small squirts of paint. I really don't want to add too much. Once the paint's in, I'm going to mix it around to make somewhat of a paste. If it looks more like paint than paste, you need to add more baking soda. Now you're just going to fill in your circle with the baking soda paint paste. Basically, what this does is it adds color and baking soda to your moon. So when we add the vinegar, we will see a very cool reaction. So take your time, fill it up, and basically just fill in the whole area of the moon. I went ahead and made some more paste, but this time only using white paint. Notice I used more baking soda too, so it has a little bit more texture. You can experiment with how much baking soda you add. So I went ahead and added just some yellow paint to a bowl, no baking soda, and now I'm just going to add stars around my moon. This way it looks like it's in outer space. Oh and hey, don't forget that shooting star, for good luck. Okay, now let's let it dry. Alright, let's get ready for the magic. You're going to take your vinegar and pour it into your little cup. At this point, you can take a clean spoon and dump the vinegar on the baking soda and oh my gosh look at what's happening i literally couldn't get enough of this step so i kept dumping the vinegar onto the baking soda until it wouldn't bubble anymore fizzy moon paintings <laughs>